welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the Tangle Crocus from CZT Sue Schneider. I've been waiting to do this one and I kept, I, I'd seen it. I'm like, well, let's do it in the springtime because, you know, I think of the crocus flower, of course. Um, so here we are and I'm happy to be presenting this one. So this one also um, will help to uh, demonstrate the concept of uh, fragments and reticula and I'll explain as I go so what we're gonna do is uh, it's a grid pattern and the <laughs> Rick and Maria Rick, uh, Rick Roberts Maria Thomas the founders of Zentangle um, were exploring you know the concept of grids and when you look up the definition of grid when they did uh, it the definition was a network of lines that cross each other to form a series of squares or rectangles. And generally that's when I say grid pattern, that's what we do. But there are other kinds of grids that we use. For instance, sometimes it's not uh, squares or rectangles with fine lines. It's a grid of, of orbs or, um, or dots or whatever. And so, um, or just, you know, taking a, taking a tangle that has spaces and making it big and then tangling inside, that, that alone becomes, uh, you know, you wouldn't want to call it a grid because grid, again, implies, uh, implies square or rectangle. So they looked up words and found the word reticulum, and the definition for that was a fine network or net-like structure. And so, uh, and reticula is plural. So that's why they started using that. So here, let's, let me show you this tangle. It's, uh, it's super easy and super neat looking. All right, so we're going to do, and again, this is one box in the grid. So we're going to go diagonal and draw a giant seed. And a seed is a curved line. As you can see, I'm going from one corner to the other. And then we're going to do the other side, which completes the seed. All right. Then... Um, this is one of those, oh, pick whichever side, and we're going to go about halfway, and we're going to draw a straight line into that seed. And it's like, when I look here, that looks halfway, but it doesn't look halfway here. It's just, you know, it's one of those optical illusion-y type things. And of course, I'm eyeballing it. We're not, we don't do measuring, and I'll, don't worry about it. There's, you know, it's all okay. Just eyeball it. It's good. Okay, so then we have these two lines coming like this. So, you know, whatever direction, you know, you you start off with, it's in that corner, right? Then from the end of this, we're going to draw a nice curved line down to that, the opposite point there. Same thing on this side. Okay. That's essentially it. And then it's playtime. <laughs> so, I'm going to leave this as it is because I want to show you uh, the playtime. And actually, I'm going to do this one first. I have a finished one here. So the idea of using a fragment. So I've used this as a fragment. And then by play, I mean, you decorate it however you want. Decorate, shade, have fun with it. Okay. So what I have done here is uh, I put this little straight line with, with orbs coming, you know, from... Uh, this center, but you can see I, this one, I have this direction. Then in this box, right, I turned it up. This one, I turned it this way. This one, uh, which way? Then I turned it down. I can't, you know, just flip the directions. Well, and I'll show you the next one. This one, I decided to do them all pointing to the center. Now, I could have also done it this way, but then put these straight lines coming from here. So then, you know, so then these would all be kind of pointing out. And that will create a whole different look, a whole different uh, shape. Um, actually, this kind of looks very lotus, lotus blossom me. <laughs> and so I wanted to show how how I shaded this, or just to play with some shading um, on this to give you some ideas. And well, and actually, there are so many different ways. You know what? Let me know. Actually, taking that back, I want to do something different. Okay, let's do this one. So here I shaded around, uh, backtracking here, sorry. Um, I shaded around, first it was around the, the, whole, um, the whole tangle. 
each one. And then I decided to, and I need to bring this up a little bit. Um, where did I see it? Right here. <laughs> I decided to do the whole seed because I thought that was kind of neat to have it pop pop out above um, the other uh, pieces. You know, so like these kind of look like flowers. These could look like leaves if I was, you know, picturing that. But there are some other ways that you can have fun with this. One way, oh, let's see, I guess, and I'm just going to, ooh, okay. Uh, okay, so there's two ways to do this. If you want to disguise uh, the, the grid lines without just filling it all the way in black, I'm going to do a grid. Because, so there's two ways, and I can just draw over this too. One way is this, where you're just auraing each side. Let's just do that. We'll see if I can do it good enough so that way I can match it up. You could do that on all, all the sides and then just keep auraing it until you get here. Or, and this is what I'm going to do, is I'm going to aura the sides. Let me just get those before I lose them. Actually, if I was to have wiggled my, my pen a little bit more, we could make this uh, the cheesecloth pattern. Oh, although then, no, you know, I wouldn't want to do that because um, then we have this really nice straight line in the grid and we wouldn't want to mess with that. We want to disguise it, right? And this is a fun thing because if you end up not liking this, and let me meet these two up, okay. Um, then, you know, your last resort is you can always go and just fill it in solid if you end up not liking something like this. But it's just really neat to be able to disguise that grid. And depending on... Uh, oh. You know what the you know depending on the pattern and the way the lines are because sometimes you can just get away with doing uh, one you know having the line go one direction this one because we have the cross here right we can't we would have the we'd have that one line in the center so we can't really get rid of it it wouldn't be disguising it it'd be a bad disguise <laughs> all right but and let me just show here because because this one. Um, gosh, and then sometimes you lose the tang, you lose the, uh, um, you know, which, which part is the, the tangle? All right, so right here, and I'm just going to do these ones. We'll just do this one this way uh, first, because I'm, like I said, can always come back. But I wanted to just show how, you know, look at how this is disguising it. Could leave it like this if we wanted to. Right? And what's fun is if you kind of think, Ooh, I wonder what that would look like. And and maybe that's part of why I really like, why I like calling them course corrections and having, you know, a list in my head is because then if you have a list in your head of ways that, you know, if you try it and you don't like it, then what? Um, then, I, I, you know, I like to think, well, actually, it's, it's made me a lot more courageous with trying things. So if you have a challenge with uh, trying things and, and taking risks, even though it's just paper, and as my mom says, oh, it's just a piece of paper. I know, I know, technically it is. However, <laughs> it's a lot more than that, too. Because, you know, some of us, I think it, it for me, it stems from a, I don't like to do things wrong. And so in my head, um, you know, there is, you know, like, there's a right and wrong for everything, apparently. But not in this. And sometimes we just have to, actually, this might look kind of neat this way. Uh, but anyway, so I, that's why I share these kind of things. Because if you are one also that just is like, well, I don't, I don't want to do it wrong. But I wanna, you want to do things. Well, this is one way. Okay, let's do, all right. Sometimes, like I said, sometimes I'm losing the pattern here. Okay, so this one, I'm going to do these ones straight also. Then we'll see how well we like it or not and then can come back. But anyway, I'm just hoping to encourage you if you are, you know, 
if you hesitate with uh, taking risks with this or just, you know, you'd like to step out of your comfort zone, but, uh, you know, what if I mess up? Well, that's why I give the, give the kind of the steps of the course correction. And, you know, and then if all else fails, save the tile. And uh, sometimes you can come back to it. I think I'm going to probably want to put the grid on all of it. But, you know, it's kind of interesting to see what happens. Never throw a, you know, tile or paper away. There is a, um, I don't remember which project pack it was. I did, and I might have the class, because I think I did it, uh, f uh, it was a free class when I first did it. And that one might be on the replays here on my YouTube channel. Um, called uh, Transcending. It's a neat concept. Well, that's kind of interesting. I don't know. I think I'm going to sit on that for a minute. But, and, and while I sit on this thought, and sometimes I will shade and then come back and um, and then I can always decide later and put ink over the graphite. And if you do that, just know it's a good idea to, number one, don't push so hard with the pen on the graphite because then it kind of junks it up. Uh, and then also, yeah, so I, uh, I, well, this is my blotter page, so, but on the corners, which you can't see is where I do that. Um, but it's good to just wipe it off here and there. Um, you might have to go back and reapply the graphite so it, you know, so it goes over that. But that too is, you know, another course correction. Oh, isn't that interesting? And I think I need to do that for the rest. It's kind of neat having, hmm, I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna rest on this for a little bit. And that's fun to do too. I mean, this is, the Zentangle is all about you and what in, in your own experience and your whatever you want to do with it. it you know, we're not, uh, as my friend Diane says, we're, you know, not necessarily taking this one to the fair. And don't just don't even worry about it. There's no, we don't, we don't worry about doing that here. It's just, uh, you know, you exploring creativity, having fun with being creative. Because we all come at it from different uh, different aspects, different uh, walks of life and whatnot, levels of uh, of artistic ability. Which, I mean, well, if you've listened to any of my videos, I, you know I don't feel I don't I didn't didn't I'm going to say it in the past tense didn't feel that I had any. Art was not my forte by any means, and. I still hesitate to think that. I can do Zentangle, though. I don't deny that. <laughs> I can do Zentangle. And that's why I like to share things, because I know, I, you know, the more I talk about it, the more I meet other people that, you know, have the same thing. And that's I just want to empower everybody that, uh, if you might be feeling, um, well, like, I'd really like to do that, but you're not feeling necessarily um, equipped to do it. You have hope. You can, you can, you can, you can. See, that's neat. It's added. It's like a whole different texture, and because this is darker, because of the lines going both ways, it's it's sunk down way below. I hope you don't mind watching my my little transformation exercise uh, playing here. <laughs> and you know what? If you find this fun, do let me know in the comments. I try not to, I try to, you know, shake things up just a little bit, uh, but this, well, we're on par for about the, kind of the normal space. I try to still honor the, hey, this is a quickie, here's how you do this. But at the same time, it's nice to do a little, a little something extra. All right. You're getting the idea. We well, you know, while I do this last bit, I hope that you enjoyed this uh, tangle. And remembering where we came from. It's just this. That's what's so amazing. And then it's just playing. And, and I really, I did the same things playing wise. I didn't, I didn't go, you know, fancy doing something different on the inside. Um, you can do lots of things. You could put, I, um, well, looking at the step, my step out, as well as Sue's step out. And both of those are in the description section. Um, to take a look at different ways that you could play with this you know, and decorate it, 
again, however, however you want. Also, in that description section, if you if you enjoy my goofy style, if you enjoy this this kind of playing around, I would. And you've not uh, joined me for a tangle time. I do uh, both uh, paid and free classes on Thursday. I do a class every week. And it's, it's on Thursday, at least uh, my time, Thursday. Uh, I'm in Michigan, so it's uh, 7 a.m. Oh, no, excuse me, not 7 a.m. 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. <laughs> I can't tangle and talk. Because <laughs> I'm kind of like just really um, enjoying what I've, what I've done here. Um, it still needs more. Um, but so if you've enjoyed this, uh, would like to join me, uh, 11 a.m., 7 p.m., Eastern uh, Daylight Time, right now anyway. Um, I would love to have you join me. Information is on my website or, you know, and if you if you have trouble finding it, uh, if there's a classes uh, or sessions link. And um, and I do put the, the links there for free. There's ways, you know, if you really like it and you want to, uh, you know, follow me, we can, you know, you can do that on Facebook. There's some other options as well. Um, and I do list them there. So that way you can see when I post classes. Would love to have you. So if you enjoyed the video, um, would love to have a thumbs, give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you liked it enough to see more, uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel. It would be, um, that would make my day. And um, <laughs> I can't, yeah, look, you can see, yeah, tangle and talk. So this is when you start getting into the zone which is why, you know, that meditative uh, aspect, sometimes, that's what I say, sometimes talking and things just don't work um, together. Oh, yeah, see, yeah. It needed something in the middle. That did it. They kind of look like rocket ships, too, don't they? Hmm, hmm. Anyway, <laughs> I would love to have you join me for, uh, lo uh, you know, a live tangle time session. And then if you, if you, you still like it and you want to do more, I do have some other... Uh, other things that I do would love to have you join us and uh, how much fun was this tangle all starting from this and I uh, and by the way uh, Sue is sometimes on uh, she sometimes pops on to my tangle times on on Thursday I think she has her own that she runs uh, through meetup um, I, I'm on meetup also um, uh, but uh, sometimes she pops on so hi Sue I hope you watch this and uh, love this tangle it's so neat and with that, thanks for watching. Thanks for having fun with me. And I wish you happy tangling.